yeah, we are equipped to kill, baby. Oh, yeah. Feel the pain, Octorox, of my sword and boomerang combo attack. Yeah, you're stunned by the boomerang. Hello, Shadow Link. I will defeat you. I will defeat you. Ah, aha, I defeated you. <laughs> uh, yeah, he'll be back. He never dies, dang it. Uh, giant green gems are 100. Uh, small ones are 1. The small green ones are 1. Um, oh, there's a key in this grass here if you don't see that. I'm pretty sure you can't see that. Oh, I got the small key! You have to lift it with the R button like so. I have a key! Yay! And open the door. Whoa, we're inside! Oh, thank goodness. I could imagine it. Who makes, I mean, who puts a door, you know, in and puts the doorknob in and, you know, has it locked from the outside? That is the dumbest thing ever. You, you need to learn how to build houses better, buddy. And talk to the sky. Whoa, you could, oh no, what about those Octa Rocks? I must do something about them for you because, you know, I'm the hero and stuff like that. Anyway, you have to change, like, whenever you see, like, different size things, you have to change your formation so that your characters can lift or push whatever that formation is. That's part of this game's puzzle. And by the way, the sprites jiggle in case you can't see that. Um... Whenever, like, it, whenever you're on the uh, Game Boy Advance screen. I don't know why. But anyway, pick up the item with the R button. And, oh my goodness, I got the fire rod. Woo, it's hot. So very hot. And I can use it to burn things. Like so. And I can also use it to burn myself. That works. But I don't think it actually hurts me. Um, Whenever you grab an item, you drop the other item that you have. Like you can see, I dropped my boomerang over there. And there's the burning fire! Fire! Good! Caveman-like! And watch this! This is just so awesome when I get out of here. And I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, no, wait, no, I... Uh, yeah, he, he, this thing happens when I leave the door. I mean, not leave the area, excuse me. So, uh, maybe that's why you locked it from the outside, you know, to make sure that he couldn't get in with that key that was also outside. Uh, well, that, well whatever. Just, uh, shoot this fire. Whoa! Fire! Baby, we're back, and I, I could actually use that boomerang to get those four stems across the lake there. Ah, whatever. They're only worth 20 apiece, those uh, small red ones. Oh, I need to burn those, uh, yeah, those things. Th those little stumps that are over there. You can pick up rocks at the art button, I forgot to mention. And, uh, let's go inside. Let's see what's in the cave. Whoa, we're 2D. We're in a side-scroller. And there's a cheap cheap just swimming along in the water there. Even when I'm taking a break from Mario, I still can't get away from him. Dang it. And let's open the treasure chest. It's another force gem. It's 20 of them. Anyway, I'm really lollygagging around here, so let's just uh, start some real progression here and look out for the hammer. Oh, I got Shadow Link. You hurt me. Aha, now I've hurt you. See, he just keeps coming back, and every time you kill him, you get a good, pretty good bounty and stuff like that. Oh, a switch! Give me force gems! Oops, I wanted to do that. No, wait, I wanted to do this. There we go. No, stop hitting me, you Octorok. I want to collect my force gems, and this one I need to be like square, and yay, and drop it, thank you very much, and cut my way through these, through this grass, and I can get force gems along the way, whoa, shiny lightness, yeah, whenever you find a, uh, some light like that, you'll get a bountiful amount of treasure, usually force gems, I believe, and oh my god, it's a chew jelly owl. And up we go to the next area, and I can just pick these all up at once if I want to, and swim in the water. Yeah, you don't need flippers in this Zelda to swim in the water. And go up here, and you want to pick up this rock to continue forward, and... Oh, crap, it's a trap! It's Tingle! No! No! Why, God, why are you here? You are the worst character in Zelda history. You should have never been invented. Well, there's a cult following with Tingle. So uh, some people are going to hate what I just said there, but I don't like Tingle. He's just plain weird and out of place for the Zelda series, I swear. Well, then again, there's a lot of weird characters in the Zelda series, but no one, no one is as weird as Tingle is. I guarantee it. I, I, I'm not going to follow you, don't worry. 
please, I do not want to follow you whatsoever. And he goes on a balloon and floats away. Anyway, talk, I was going to say talk to the sign, yeah, like, get a go, and just, like, one, one character controlling. And, uh, wait, what are you talking about? Swimming basics? I already took swimming classes, because I already learned how to swim here. But, yeah, you can press the A button to swim, and the B button to dive. Like, you'll see this gem is kind of faded out in the water. You can't, cl oops, you can't collect it because it's underwater. So you got to press the B button to go underwater to collect it, but you can only stay underwater for five seconds at a time. For some reason, that number is different depending on where you are. I don't know why. Um, but you'll see what I mean when I get to it. Uh, okay, now, you got uh, this beautiful rainbow. Oh, that is so pretty. And then we're inside a cave. And you can talk to this guy if you'd like to. He's going to talk about his cannon, if I'm not mistaken. Sure, I would love to shoot myself up like a human cannonball. And, woo, I mean, that's totally safe for kids. And got 50 force gems, so I guess those pinkish purple ones are worth 50. Woo! I guess I missed that large green gem there. That's kind of poopy. And what's in here? Whoops! I did not mean to do that. Oh, there's a switch there! I would like to press that switch, thank you. Switch! Woo! A bunch of force gems appeared up there. I must get to them before they disappear. I'm gonna skip that boomerang because I'd like to get up there quickly, thank you very much. And hold, remember to hold right so you can get over here. Oh! I made, didn't make it in time. There's freaking Tingle. Tingle is the bane of your force gem collecting existence in this game. What he does is, whenever there's large force gems on the screen, he steals them from you. Yay! Um, so, you know, he tries to get them before you do. Now, there's three caves behind this water. This one, you don't want to go in first because there's this hole there. You can't do anything about it here. And this is the first um, separate con character controlling puzzle in the game that you'll be uh, taught here by uh, with the X button that I said to control all the characters individually. Uh, just like that. And yes, I am actually reading this fast. I am a very, very quick reader. Just warning you there. So if you ever want to read something... Um, just pause the video, and, uh, yeah, there we go. So, and the, the bridge is open on that part, so just go back behind the waterfall over there, and, whoa, the bridge is there! Let's open the treasure chest. Large green gems for luck, and the heart container. You do not get to keep that, uh, after, when you, after you finish this level. Now, when you press that switch, oh, no! Something, somebody needs to be holding that switch for the for that to appear, so what am I supposed to do? I guess I'll just leave a character there, and then just, like, teleport everyone over there with the Y button. Whoa! That's just, like, magical! That is the power of the Four Sword. And the Ow. <laughs> that, that fire actually doesn't hurt you for some reason. I don't know why. The fire from the Fire Rod, but it does, like, disrupt you. Um, that is a Zora. He shoots at you. Don't, uh, don't touch the Zora shot. And woo! Oh, I got the green gem for awesomeness! Green gems for the win, and go down here, you'll be able to find a another large green gem. You're getting close to that uh, 2,000 mark now, baby. Oh, yeah. So, let's go over here, and there's a magical whirlpool of sparkliness. Whoa, we're on the water! And see, this is what I mean. Now, now, we've, now I've got 10 seconds of air. Why other times do I have 5 seconds, and this time I have 10 seconds? It makes no sense, you know, in terms of holding your breathness. But I guess because you need 10 seconds to get through there, because you see it took me 7 seconds to get through that. Anyway, change your formation to horizontal, push this block over, now change it to vertical, press all those buttons on the Tetris block and get across here. Oh, I missed the gem, but that's... I couldn't see what the heck I was setting up for anyway. Press the button! Yay, I opened the door! I can open doors! I have hands and feet! So let's open this treasure chest. Whoa, it's a red force gem. That's worth 20. It's a small red force gem. The bigger ones are worth more. Whoa, I got the blue bracelet. I now reduce damage by half for this level only. Dang it. Cheap skates. So anyway, go up here. And whoa, we're outside at the bottom here. Whoops. Well, actually, that works for me. <laughs> and formation change. And pick up those. And whoa, there's a hole over here. Ah, fish. We're in the fish catacombs that I can open treasure chests. Look out for the fish. They will kill you, you know, behind those rock walls. Actually, they won't touch you whatsoever. Grab this boomerang. You're going to need it, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, leave the fire rod behind, even though it's awesome for burning grass. It's so much fun to burn grass, like, in mass amounts. 
Like, I could burn this right here, and oh my goodness, soldier attack! Change formation and start mass murdering the soldiers because they don't know better that you're just a kid. I have no idea why they want to kill you. But anyway, grab each link individually to press these switches. Wow, treasure chest bonus! Woohoo! I got enough force gems to power up the sword! Yay! I got 2,000 Force Gems. I don't need any more for this level, so I don't have to collect anything more, but there's a heart container if you want it. And let's call everyone over. Yay, 100! And there should be a little boss coming up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, change the horizontal, and you'll be able to easily kill these first six here just by swinging your sword like crazy. And uh, avoid uh, the big guy there. He's pretty strong, actually. And I'm just going to change the horizontal now. And now I would like to go to square mode, thank you. Because I'll be able to do two shots every time he does a little attack. Wait for him to attack, and then him attack him on the side that he's vulnerable. Whoa! Forest gems! much power! Yeah, as you can see, there's plenty, plenty of force gems in this area of the dang owl. They form a barrier of darkness. I must destroy them using my sword! Oh no! I must destroy them and bring light back to the land! Poke those eyes out! Yeah, you have to have 2,000, or I should say, the amount of force gems you need to unlock those things. And at the end of the stage, depending on your performance, you get these force fairies. Um, they act like they're like, they act like lives in this game, giving you uh, as many chances to beat a level as you have Force Fairies, basically. And once you go into the light, you'll end the stage, and you can go to the next one. And that destroys the thingy, the barrier for the next area, and it allows you to save the game. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for now, because I'm already like, I'm already doing like 25 minutes already. That, that's a lot of time that I've spent just on that first level, so I'm probably going to end up splitting it into two parts. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next part when I continue on doing level one, known as the Cave of No Return. That sounds kind of spooky, so I'll see you then.